Welcome back to another video editing tutorial using the free software Caden Live. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my workflow for using Caden Live when I uh, edit my YouTube videos to upload them to YouTube. So what I have is actually a couple different videos. I have my intro screen that looks like this. It's just one MP4 video. And I also have my outro screen that looks like this. And it's just an uh, outro that plays for, I believe, six seconds. And this is where my videos go. This is, uh, nothing's happening here, but I, I still made it a video um, just because. So I'm going to drag both of these in to my project bin. And then most of the time, I actually don't have to. So I'm recording with OBS. I'm recording right now. This is my screen recording that I'm doing to do this video. Uh, but also, I mean, when those are done, I everything go, gets saved to this OBS video uh, folder on a separate 500 gigabyte hard drive on my computer. So this is the video I'm recording right now. But if I these are all the uh, like the Caden Live tutorials I've been making, and a couple of them need some edits. So this um, lesson eight one needs an edit. Uh, all the rest of them are actually pretty good to go. But so I'm going to do the lesson eight one. So we'll bring lesson eight in, and the reason it needs an edit is. The only part I wanted to edit from this one was speeding up the rendering time. I think I rendered out a video and it <clears throat> took about a minute and a half. And I just didn't want to have you, the viewer, be waiting a minute and a half. So I'm just going to speed that portion of the video up. So I'll show you how I'll do that. So first of all, I want to drag in. Oh, and also, so all these video clips, if you have VLC installed, you can check. Uh, but I, I go to play the video. Welcome back to another video. And uh, we can go to... Uh, where's that? Tools and then codec information under VLC if you have VLC installed and it will tell you. So this is 1920 by 1080. Awesome. The frame rate is 60 frames per second. Awesome. <clears throat> and this is like just some more information about it. And so actually all of my videos uh, are that. So if I go to my other ones like this uh, outro, even though it's just a still nothing's happening, we can just we can still go to codec information and look. All right, 60 FPS, 1920 by 1080. So I made sure that all of my video clips are 60 frames per second, 1920 by 1080. And for a screenshot, 60 FPS is really kind of overkill. I'm still deciding. I'll probably go back down to 30. But for now, I'm doing 60 FPS. So what I need to do is go to my project, project settings, and change my project to a 60 FPS, 1080p project. Uh, changing the profile in your project cannot be undone. Okay, continue. So perfect, there we go. If I wouldn't have done that, I would have had issues. I would have been creating a video that was 30 frames per second using footage that was 60 frames per second. So I would have had some sync issues with my audio and it would have not been pretty. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna drag in my intro, put it on video track one, started at zero seconds there. Then I'm gonna grab in uh, my main part of the video and just put it right here. And I'll scroll to the end of this video, Ooh, it's quite long, and I'll put my outro right at the end. And actually the outro, I usually like to put it up on track two and overlap it a little bit. So let's zoom in, let's do, well we'll do the intro first actually. So let me come here, oh whoa, where's it at? All right. So I'm just going to watch and see how it looks with my intro and transitioning into the video. Welcome back to another video editing tutorial. I'm seeing some green flashes, but that, I think that's just going to happen in my play playback. Welcome back. To I don't think those green flashes will be there, but we'll see for sure. Okay, so I had a little bit of a little bit of time here, so I'm going to actually shorten this just a teeny tiny bit to get rid of that little click. Welcome back to another video editing. Perfect. So this is how this will start. And then at some point in this video, I need to uh, actually edit. I got to find this, the part that I'm exporting out. Uh, and I'm just going to speed up the video during that portion. So let me find that real quick. Oh, this is it right here. Perfect. So I can see on the screen that it's doing it. Okay. So let's go back a little bit before, see what's happening at this portion. Let's go to render. We'll render selected zone and we'll save it to the desktop. And we'll call it, uh, oh, whoops, we don't want WebM though. We'll just, we'll just call it something. 
and then we'll make sure it's an MP4. So I like to, you could do WebM, but MP4 is kind of this, a good standard for uploading to like Facebook or YouTube. And I'll just pause the video while we render this out. Okay, so right here, after I said I want to pause the video while we render it out, I'm going to, going to grab my razor tool. I'm going to cut the video clip right here. I'm going to play. Well, not really play, actually. I guess I can just skip forward and look. I can kind of see that progress bar. So I just want to go till the progress bar is completely done, or almost done, even. Perfect, right there. And then I will grab my razor tool and cut the video again. Then go to my selection tool, select this video, and I could just I could just delete this all the way out, but maybe just to kind of be fun, let's just apply a speed effect, and let's actually have it, uh, oops, I typed an effect, speed. And we'll drag speed down onto this, and we'll just make it be 1,000% instead of 100%. Perfect, now it's nice and short. And now, I think we can play and see, but it might be a little bit uh, laggy. And I'll just pause the video while we render this out. And it'll actually play a lot faster than that. Okay, so that took about I think. 40 seconds. Well, let me see how fast exactly this is playing. Render. Yeah, yeah in fact, I'm going to do 2,000%. Your guys' time's valuable. Let's make this super short. Okay, there we go. All right, and then I have to go back, and because I've kind of shortened this video a little bit, I'm going to bring my outro and put it right here. And the reason I overlap it a little bit is just because there's usually a little bit of empty space or silent space at the end of my videos. Uh, catch you on the next one. Okay, so actually about right. I guess this one didn't have a whole lot. Maybe that's good like that. Like that. Uh, catch you on the next one. Cool. All right, I'm going to render this out, and uh, I guess this is going to be a similar situation because this is going to take a while to render. If I'm going to click Render, and we're going to go to MP4, uh, we're going to choose the file name. So I will render it to, I'm going to put it here. I'll put it in this folder right here, and I'll just call it um, KDAN Live Lesson 8 Fixed. And I'll hit Save. All right, so MP4, it's going to render according to our project settings, with this, which is 60 frames per second, 1920 by 1080. And I'll hit Render to File. And then I'm going to have to also pause this video and speed it up. So it's just like a never-ending video editing project. But I'm curious here, so it says waiting. It's actually taking a little bit of a second to get this going. I wonder why. Okay, there it goes. So it's going to be 23 minutes to render out this 9-minute video. That's interesting. Okay, so that's done encoding now, and we can close this. We can go and take a look and see what our finished product looks like. Make sure it doesn't have those green uh, flashing things. So this is the file. Welcome back to another video editing tutorial using the free software Caden Live. In this video, we're going to be... And I like to uh, actually skip forward a little bit. I like to watch certain parts of it. Sometimes certain objects like transparent layers, not in Caden Live, just in video in general. Um, sometimes certain portions of video don't display the way you think they're going to. So I just like to go through and watch and listen to make sure the audio is on track. Cool. With everything and then that way I know it's a good video and this one looks like it's good. So, appreciate you watching this video. Hopefully that was informative. Uh, catch you on the next one. Cool. Very good. So that's my workflow using Caden Live. And actually, I'll release another video, but just recently I started using a uh, batch script or like a shell script to do batching, uh, batch editing on these videos. So now what I do, I just take the entire folder and I just have a little script that uses FFmpeg and it goes through and actually just adds the intro and the outro to every one of them. I'm still kind of fine tuning it, but when I get that um, working really well, I'll re release a video and show you that workflow. It saves a ton of time not having to um, edit all of them. And actually, I'm trying to get it so I don't have to actually re-encode. So instead of waiting like 20 minutes to encode on the processor, um, I can just 
actually add in since they're all mp4s I can actually just uh, add them all together and it's a very quick process anyway that's my workflow for Caden live appreciate you watching like and subscribe if you found this informative and I'll catch you on the next video